Okay, so I'm impressing the implant three months after implant placement. So the healing abutment has been through the tissue all that time. It's developed a perfect emergence profile. You don't have to anesthetize the patient to take the impression when they return for the impression. And you don't have to reflect a flap because you went through the tissue. I'm not saying don't reflect a flap initially. Some people would argue you should do it that way. I've done it this way for a long time and it works beautifully. And there are a lot of advantages in my opinion. So here's the healing abutment. I'm gonna unscrew that. So the implant was torqued to 35 Newton centimeters. Here it is, perfect emergence profile. This is the OCO impression coping. And so you're going to screw this into the implant and this hex fits into, per, fits perfectly into the implant. See, so this screw goes through this part. Here's the threads down here. And so when I put it to place, the threads, I mean the hex is going to fit into that implant and it'll lock. So you can't turn it. Then you're going to screw in this part, finger tight it, tighten it. Hello, this video is a small portion of a complete comprehensive video. If you'd like to see this complete comprehensive case and many other complete comprehensive cases, click on the link in the description below. This is the impression coping screwed into the implant. So this is not touching that tooth, it just is the angle. I take a radiograph just to be sure it's completely seated, but it always is because when you put the impression coping into the implant, you feel it lock when the hex engages the uh, coronal part of the implant. We're going to put this block out material around the other teeth because I'm going to take a polyether with custom tray impression that's real rigid and it can lock into those undercuts and be difficult to move, remove. So this is a custom tray, watch the video on impression taking with polyether with custom tray. So I'm gonna squirt the wash material around the implant so I capture the soft tissue. Squirt it on both sides, and put a little bit on the unset polyether material. Very important you use a custom tray so you don't get blibs and voids and all that in the impression. So here's the impression of the implant. You'll see, you can see the flat side of the impression coping. And so when you put the impression coping back in, you're gonna put the flat sides to align with the flat sides of the impression. So I'm gonna unscrew, unscrew the impression coping and see you've got a flat side here. So when you put it back into the impression, you're gonna just align the flat side with the impression part of this implant. And then this is gonna screw through here. See, this is flat right here, and this is flat right here. So when you put this in, you're going to put the ball in first and put the flat side against that flat side and this flat side against this flat side and it just pops right in there. It's an ingenious design because there's never a question that you have it to place. You just pop it in it just snaps in. Very, very accurate. So here's the impression coping in the impression. I really like this system. See, so it's just easy. Then you're going to put the impression, the healing abutment back on the implant. Just finger tighten it. Now we're going to seat the retained implant crown and abutment. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you feeling stuck? You know you have more to offer and you can elevate higher in your dentistry practice, but you just don't know how to do it. Well, great news. DentistryMasterclasses.com is here for you. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Kerpeth is offering his greatest work and his best cases. Here's everything included when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. 
you will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos, and the Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference. You will get before and after pictures of Dr. Cutper's fantastic restored cases. And guess what? All of this is 40 bucks a month. That's right, 40 bucks a month. This is an opportunity you cannot miss. Go to dentistrymasterclasses.com and subscribe today.